People often ask me, how does Primark do those prices? And I think the key thing is that the retail price is not a definitive indicator of how a business operates from an ethical point of view. The reason that Primark can offer its products at such affordable prices is because our business model is different for other retailers. We keep things very simple. We do very little advertising, we buy in bulk, and we have lower margins than other retailers, meaning that there's a very small difference in the price that we buy products for and the price that we sell them for in our stores. Primark cares about standards in its supply chain. These are all laid out in the Code of Conduct. Our Code of Conduct is based on international standards around worker rights, such as working hours and a fair wage. Our Code of Conduct details all the standards that we expect factories to meet before we will place an order with them. Primark sources its clothes from countries like China, Bangladesh, India, Cambodia, Vietnam, Myanmar, Pakistan, Turkey and Romania. Some of these countries are referred to as less economically developed countries, or LEDCs. The benefits for Primark of sourcing from less economically developed countries includes things like utilising the trade agreements that were set up to encourage companies like Primark to import from these countries. In turn, this helps these countries to grow and develop their economies. Take Bangladesh for example. Population of 150 million. Four million of those people work within the textile sector, so it's a big deal. Garment industries are the most important sector. If we would like to achieve the goals of the sustainable development, we have to have the garment industry, especially from the gender point of view. The supply chain of how our products make it to store can be very complex. However, let me take you through the cotton supply chain because it makes up a large percentage of our product. Cotton is a natural fibre that is grown in warm climates. It's predominantly sourced from countries such as China, India, Pakistan, Turkey, Brazil, and the United States. So the first stage in our supply chain is actually harvesting the cotton. One of the many places Primark Supply source their cotton from is Gujarat in India. Once that cotton is picked, with the cotton sent to the Jinnah, where the brown seeds are removed from the white lint. The next phase of the process is that cotton's cleaned and then spun into yarn. Once the yarn is spun by the spinner, it's ready to go off for either knitting or to be woven into fabric. It's then sent to the dyers. Fabric forms a huge part of our overall cost of the product, so it's really important that we work with our suppliers to minimise the wastage in this particular area. Our suppliers lay the fabric up on the cutting room table. And our suppliers are very skilled at maximising and utilising those patterns to reduce waste. The assembly line is where all the sewing operations take place. Each operator is skilled in an individual operation, which drives efficiency and quality standards. Once finished off the assembly line, it's pressed, labelled, and there's one final check before we put it in a box ready to ship. The box that leaves the factory is the same box arising in the store. The supplier loads a box onto a truck and it's taken to port. The product's then loaded onto containers and sent to our distribution centres throughout Europe and North America. From China to the UK, it takes six weeks to ship, but sometimes we want to respond a lot quicker. So that's when we work with countries such as Turkey and Romania, and that reduces the transit time. The product arrives in our distribution centres. From our distribution centres, it's sent to our stores, still in the same box. So that's how we get our product right from the natural fibre all the way through to store.